What's up guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at the legend Spanish striker Emilio Butragueño. Um, I want to first give a shout out to Max for requesting Butragueño um, before this review, so I appreciate that man. I'm so glad that I could get him. You said he was 600k, you must be playing on the 360 because I'm on the 1 and he was 1.2 million but I got him for 800k somehow. So that is why I'm taking the opportunity to do this review. I have not been able to play with him on either FIFA 16 or 16 or 15. Um, so I'm super glad that I got to. For those of you who don't know, um, he was very good for Spanish internationally and basically came up through Real Madrid's youth system and played there, if I'm not mistaken, his whole career. So that is why I have him in a full Real Madrid team 4-3-1-2 formation, a very popular formation on FIFA. This team played amazing for me, and so did Butragueño, guys. He is so fast, and with a 94 finishing rating, he pretty much puts everything in the back of the net, and I loved it. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at his face card stats. 91 pace, 88 shot, 78 passing, 87 dribbling, 65 physical, he also has the 4-star weak foot, and for some reason, 3-star skill moves. I usually like to go and research on my players before I do them, and I saw some videos, and there's no way he has 3-star skills. He was dangling people, so I don't understand that. Um, but he also has a medium, uh, low work rate, and he's kind of small, which is his only downside, really, and I'll get into that later. Um, but in 6 games, guys, I scored 12 goals. That's 2 goals a game and 2 assists. This guy was insane, and without further ado, let's get into the in-game stats and then the highlights thereafter. Butch Granero's in-game stats, guys, 90 attack positioning, 92 acceleration, 86 agility, 88 balance, 91 reactions, 91 sprint speed, 85 ball control, 87 dribbling, 94 finishing, 85 penalties, 84 shot power, along with a 4-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, medium, low, work rate. He also has the poacher, speedster, dribbler, acrobat, clinical finisher, complete forward specialities, and the finesse shot trait. This guy is super pacey and definitely knows how to put the ball in the back of the net. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and take a look at some highlights and then get it right into Butchagreño's pros and cons. My first pro for this card is an obvious one, and that is his pace. Uh, this guy can straight up fly, and I'm not joking around, guys. I have never used a move more where you push the ball up in front of you and run after it like I have with Butchagreño. Definitely something I recommend doing with him. I mean, so fast. And it allows him to get in behind defenders or run past them. He does an amazing job of making runs, making deadly runs. And probably the best I've played with so far on this game. He knows what he's doing. And if you have a cam that can pass, well, I feel bad for your opponent. My second pro is his finishing. 12 goals in 6 games. The best out of any legend I've played with yet. It literally felt like every time he was on the ball and taking a shot, it was ending up in the back of the net. And at the end of the video, you will see his goal map. He can score in the box, outside the box, sniping, free kicks, everything. It was pretty ridiculous, and I absolutely loved it. Um, he does have a 94 finishing rating, so it's kind of expected, um, but I didn't expect these results that I got from him. Using his pace and finishing, he does a nice job of utilizing these two skills and turning them into goals for sure. My third con or my third pro, excuse me, for Buchigano is his dribbling. Um, now, like I said earlier, for some reason he has three-star skills. I watched some of his highlights, and the first goal that I saw him, um, he was performing an elastico on a defender, which is a five-star skill move on this game, and then doing a rollover to fake the goalie and go around him and score. Um, so I want to start a petition. Uh, but in all seriousness, even though he has three-star skills, uh, you really don't need his skill moves as much just because of how fast he is, um, but it would be a nice uh, addition. Um, but when controlling the ball, Butchigano is amazing of weaving in and out of tight situations, and he was very good when passing the ball off to a, uh, on a corner uh, to weave around the opposition. Although I do not recommend doing this because you will receive a ton of messages saying you play like a 12-year-old. Now I do have one con for me, and it was the difference in Butchigano um, being the perfect player, and this was his size. Pretty obvious one, he's a very small guy. Um, now, I'm not going to lie, he wasn't actually completely weak. Uh, he was kind of feisty in getting the ball back when pushed off of it, in all honesty. Um, but he kind of 
uh, is pushed off the, the ball by the defenders. Um, and in my opinion, if you want a guy to cross it into, he's definitely not your guy. He's only 5'7", um, so I wouldn't really look for him to score off any crosses into the box um, unless it's a ground cross like I scored earlier in the highlights. So really the size is the only thing keeping him from being a 10. Now I, this is going to lead me into his overall summary. And as you guys can see there, um, I believe out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves a 9.9 .9 out of 10. A near perfect player. The size being the only thing that sets him back. His pros and cons are listed as well as the goals and assists I had in the games played. This is my second highest rating so far as Rui Costa did receive a 10 out of 10. Um, but this is indeed the highest rating so far for a legend striker that I have done. Um, I really did enjoy him. And if you guys are looking for an attacker that is fast, can finish, and make runs in behind the defense, he is definitely your guy. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at his goal map. Um, it has Butragueño's average match ratings as well as the man of the matches he won in the games played. Up next in the review, guys, we have Michael Owen. Um, and it might be a little bit just due to the fact that Black Friday is crashing the market at the moment. So I kind of want to wait it out. Just a little bit. As always, guys, feedback is appreciated. And if you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you guys checking out this review. And until next time, I will talk to you later.